I'm not going to look as pretty as I mm -hmm. usually would if I had the, the weave or the extensions. Mm -hmm. um, How much money have you spent on um, keeping your hair straight? Wow, over $20,000. $20,000? $20, over $20,000. Wow. I technically do think that nappy hair would be considered a bad grade of okay, hair. Okay, but the problem with black women is we have to learn how to style and treat our natural hair and stop trying to conform to something that is not natural. It's this descendants and you as born Afro-Latinos who are raising awareness of the divide that exists between dark-skinned Latinos who do claim their African roots and those with lighter skin complexion who don't. Sammy Sosa went from looking like this to this in just one year. He says the new look is from a cream he uses to soften his skin. Shalom, brothers and sisters of Miss Martinez class. Okay, today's topic will be about good hair and good skin. Because in class we had a discussion about what's good hair and what's good skin. And we all had a discussion in class and we had society answers, okay? Let's see what, according to the Bible, what our forefathers in Christ and God look like. Give me Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Read. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Read it again. His head. His head. The hair of his head. And his hairs. Read. Were white like wool. It was white like wool. Who has woolly hair today? The Negroes. Read. As white as snow. As white as snow. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Read verse 15. And his feet. And his feet. Read. Like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Brown. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. So you take that brass and burn it in a furnace. What color does it get? A dark color. Read. And his feet. Like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. So Christ was a dark-skinned man. Give me Daniel 7, verse 9. All right? We're going to show what Christ's father looked like, the God of the Bible, the God of the heavens and the earth. Daniel chapter 7, verse 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. He beheld till the thrones were cast down. Read. And the ancient of days did sit. The ancient of days is the most high God. Read. Whose garment was white as snow. Read. And the hair of his head. The like, hair of his head. Read. Like the pure wool. Like the pure what? Like the pure wool. Who has woolly hair today? The Negroes. Read it again. And the hair of his head like the pure wool. Did it say the hair of his head looked like Brad Pitt? Mm -hmm. And the hair of his head like the pure wool. Like the pure wool. The most high rocks the front. All right. Now give me Genesis chapter 2 verse 7. We're going to see what the first man on earth, what he looked like according to the Bible. Genesis chapter 2 verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. The Lord God formed man out of the dust of the ground. What is the dust of the ground? The dirt, the soil. Read. And breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. Man became a living soul. Read it again. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. The dust of the ground is the soil. All right? Because the Hispanics today, there's different shades of brown. All right? Because in, in the beginning, they had woolly hair also. But let's see why they don't have, some of them don't have woolly hair today. Read. Hosea chapter 7, verse 8. Ephraim, he has mixed himself among the people. Ephraim are the Puerto Ricans today. They represent the entire Hispanic nation. You have the, uh, the kingdom of Ephraim. In the Bible, they're ca also called the kingdom of Israel. Led by them, you had Ephraim, which are called today the tribe, I mean, the so-called Puerto Ricans. That's the tribe of Ephraim. Then you have Manasseh. Today, they're called the Cubans. Then you have Simeon, who are the so-called Dominicans, okay? Then you have Zebulon. That's the people of, from Guatemala down to Panama. Then you have the tribe of Gad, the so-called North American Indians. Then you have Reuben, the so-called Seminole Indians. The tribe of Asher, those Indians from Colombia to Uruguay, you have Issachar, the so-called Mexicans, and you have the tribe of Naphtali, those Indians in Argentina and Chile. Read. Ephraim, he had mixed himself among the people. How did he mix himself amongst the people? The daughters, the Puerto Ricans, the so-called indigenous, they had sex with their slave masters when the Spanish came. Read. Right. Ephraim is a cake, not turn. Ephraim is a cake, not turn. 
a cake not turned, one side of the cake is dark and one side of the cake is light. Okay? Now give me Song of Solomon chapter five, verse chapter one, verse five. So we're proving to you in the Bible that our forefathers were men of color. Alright, because in society they push that if you have light skin or white skin complexion, they push it as if it's good. But if you have dark skin, they look at it as it's bad. Because today, we look around at each other like, damn, you black as hell, you ugly right. as hell. Right. But we have, do we ever hear, damn, you white? I ain't never heard that. I, I ain't hear that either. I ain't never heard that one. Okay, give me uh, right. Song of Solomon chapter 1. Song of Solomon chapter 1, verse 5. I am black, but comely. Solomon said, I am black, but comely. Read. Oh, ye daughters of Jerusalem. Oh, you daughters of Jerusalem, are you blacks and Hispanics? Read. As the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of Solomon. Read that verse again. I am black, but comely. I am black, but beautiful. Solomon is black. Solomon is a dark skin man, according to the Bible. Read. Oh, ye daughters of Jerusalem. As the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of Solomon. See that? That's honor. That right. our forefathers had dark skin. Let's see what the hair of Solomon. What was his hair like? Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 11. His head is as the most fine gold. Read. His locks are bushy and black as a raven. His locks are bushy. His braids are bushy. Like this brother right here. Read. His head is as the most fine gold. His locks are bushy and black as a raven. His locks are bushy, his braids are bushy, and as black as a raven. So Solomon had woolly hair. Remember, who has woolly hair today? The Negroes. Right, right. And the reason why I'm bringing out this point is because in society, they push that white skin, and light skin is the best thing to have on the planet Earth. I hate that there's so much self-hate within our community that Oh, I can't, you don't have the right kind of hair to go natural, that kind of thing. I, I just think it's absolutely ridiculous. Okay. For a lot of older generation, the hair thing, it wasn't just beauty. It was, you're not going to get a job. You're not going to walk in this room. You're not going to be able to find out a mate if your hair isn't straight and conforming to mainstream society. So for a lot of them, it's an almost fear thing when they see their children going natural. So it's the job of the younger generation to educate. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay about hair, race, everything. Change.